Hey, welcome to another video of Ben African Cichlid. So today we're going to look at the temperature controller from Hinkbird. That's the model ICT308. That's the one with the cooling feature. So this one have the heating and cooling feature. Uh, I have a previous video about this, explaining a little bit more how it does it. But uh, we're going to go through there and I'll show you how to set it. So the first window at the top is your uh, present uh, value. So this is the temperature that the probe is actually reading. And then uh, the second window is your set value. So that's what you have it program at. Uh, program at. So to enter the setting, you have to press set for three set uh, for ten seconds, and then after that, you just press set uh, one at the. Uh, you press set for one second to go to the next setting, uh, and then to save your setting at the end, we're going to press set for three seconds. Set it. Now, if you're not fast enough when you're doing this, it might kick you out and you'll have to reset your value. But at any time, you can press set for three seconds and save what you already did. So this is uh, kind of why I went through this here, because uh, when I'm explaining, I tried to do this video a couple of times, actually. And when I was explaining it, it keep kicking me out of there. So I'm... Um, I want to try to do the video a little bit quicker for you guys so uh, we have time to go through everything and and uh, make you understand all the what uh, all the values are what they mean okay so we're going to press set for 10 seconds so the first value that we have to adjust is the temperature setting so the temperature that we want to set our aquarium at I have this at 77 degrees. So it already kicked me out. So we're going to go back in. So 77, you can move it up or down. And then you press set again for one second. Now I uh, eat the French. So what, time, uh, what temperature compared to 77 degrees do you want the eat to come on? So I have this set for three degrees difference. We have to re-enter this here. Okay, so eat difference, 3 degrees from the 77 that we previously have. Cooling difference, uh, what temperature above the 77 do you want it to kick on? So 3 degrees difference here too. See how fast it does it. Um, so anyway, every time you program one of those here, uh, you know, you when you move the value to its season, so maybe that's what I'll do when I explain, uh, so we don't get kicked out there. And then, uh, so anyway, we set the cooling difference, so we'll move to the other one. So this is the alarm I, so I have it set so that uh, at 86 degrees, it, uh, it will send an alarm for me. And then uh, I know that the tank is too warm. I, uh, alarm low so at 70 degrees it'll send me an alarm can move that quite a bit because uh, actually um, the alarm because uh, you can use this for seeds and other stuff like that so you can actually have like 300 300 uh, Fahrenheit in there if you want uh, so anyway set it for whatever you want for your tank now if you have a compressor because you're using a chiller or anything like this uh, you can send set the the time that uh, you know you don't want it to cycle too often so you might this is a by minute so you can set it so that it takes a minimum of two minutes before you'll fire up the cooling cycle for your compressor i don't have a chiller so i don't have to set this to anything calibration so if your probe for some reason you put a reader in there or a thermometer and you see that the temperature is a little bit off then uh, you can calibrate your probe to match your thermometer but uh, usually it's all good and then uh, cf is just you know celsius or fahrenheit 
and then we're back to TS and then whenever you want to set your value press the setting for three seconds and it's gonna keep everything in memory and even if it goes into a power outage or something it'll keep everything in memory for you so you don't have to reset it after a power outage you'll just resume by yourself and then if the alarm goes on on you and uh, you want to shut it then you just press any of the button and it'll stop the alarm uh, I'll show you a quick example here and a quick example of what the noise will be. So if I unplug the probe here, it's going to send me an error code and it's going to beep. So if it starts to beep like this, you just press any button and then it'll stop. And then I'll connect it again and then it'll, it just, uh, yeah, it just resume to where it was before. So pretty easy to set it, set it. Uh, you know, of course it comes with the instruction here too, if you need to, but uh, you know, like I said earlier, if you're not quick enough because you didn't memorize what all those mean, or uh, all of those codes here, what they mean, then uh, he'll kick you out and then you'll have to set it again. But uh, yeah. So that was pretty quick there. So we'll go through them again really quick for a second. So hold 10 seconds. TS temperature setting. Heat difference. Cooling difference. Alarm high. Alarm low. And then uh, the compressor for uh, if you want to have uh, time uh, before the compressor kicks back on. Uh, calibration. And Celsius and Fahrenheit. And again, three seconds if you want to save everything. <laughs> 